We're making really good progress now on the Cessna 180. We have the panel put in the plane. It all powers up good. So essentially I am done with the panel. Still a few cosmetic things to put together inside, but the panel is done and ready to go. Focusing a lot of efforts now on firewall forward. Of course, I got to wire up all of the JPI, but I do have the ignition leads wired up. The alternator is finally in permanently. On this side, we have the exhaust put on. Got the shroud on there. Again, we got the ignition leads wired up. I had the starter off because I needed to put the, uh, the support springs in place here to hold the baffling. They circle around the cylinder to, uh, to hold the baffling in place. You can see it circling around there. So now it's uh, about time to start doing a lot of wiring. I did put a cover over the tack since we'll be using a JPI for that functionality. I guess a little controversial. I'm not a big believer in oil filters. I think the oil screens are just fine. And I think it's more important you run the engine frequently than, than worrying about an oil filter, but some people believe in them, so that's okay. But this is a pretty tight, tightly to the firewall, and there's really no good place to, route them to mount a remote oil filter. And those ones that extend out the uh, oil screen can crack and cause leaks. So we're gonna stay with the screen. I am uh, had some time trying to figure out how to mount the JPI fuel flow sensor. I think you can see here how we did it. Came out of the gas glider around this side of the carburetor. I'm gonna mount that on the carburetor air box. And it goes into the carburetor back there. And we gotta support that carburetor air box as well. But there was really no good way to come out the end of the carburetor with it because of the exhaust. So it was a bit challenging to figure out how to, uh, to do that. I guess it could have been mounted back to the firewall somehow, but that would have been difficult as well. So it really wasn't a lot of good options. This seems to be the best of the few options we had. The fuel flow reels flows well that way, and uh, it seems to work good. If anybody has had a better idea, just uh, let us know, but that's the way we're going on this one. All the controls are hooked up and ready to go, with the exception of the cowl flaps need to be adjusted. And uh, we should soon be ready to, to start the plane up.